What's going on guys? King Raven here coming at you with another video today. I'm excited. I'm going to do another watch review. And this particular brand you don't see too often on my channel because I personally only have one watch of this brand in my collection. So it's a outstanding watch and I'm super excited to show it because I would like to show more in this particular brand. We'll get to that in a minute. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I put together different to EDC combinations. I normally just show a watch. I'm going to show my whole EDC combination today. You'll also be able to see better pictures of it on Instagram because it's going to be in today's post. So the watch I'm wearing today is the Serge Panchenko Model 2 on a Strap code engineered style bracelet. Super awesome watch. Very symmetrical. Very clean. Love it. And love it on this engineered style bracelet. Y'all know I'm more of a bracelet guy. It comes on a rubber strap. Rubber strap's great. I just love it on the bracelet. My knife today is my complete Stonewash Shaman. Stonewash CTS XHP Blade. Titanium Stonewash Titanium Scales, a MXG Stonewash Titanium Pocket Clip, Stonewash Backspacer, okay, so that's my Stonewash Shaman, and I'm also carrying the Olight I5R EOS in Titanium, outstanding light, I love the I5R because now these are rechargeable. The batteries that they give you have a direct charging port. So you don't have to worry about replacing double A's or having a whole charging station. You can just take out the battery, plug it in, charge it up, stick it back in. You're good to go. So let's flip this camera around and check out this beautiful watch. Okay, guys. So today we are taking a look at a Seiko. All right, it comes in this sort of like uh, real high gloss but embossed uh, cardboard style box. But then inside this outer box, we have a really substantial cardboard high gloss white box. Still embossed with the Seiko. And what do we have for today? We have the Seiko Prospects Rose Gold Land Tortoise. This is a very beautiful watch. So let's take it off the Pella and take a look at this watch. Let's move this out of the way. All right. So, let's get some dimensions going down and uh, specifications. And then we'll sort of get into what I think about this watch. All right. We're looking at a 42 millimeter case. It's only 12 millimeters thick with a 45 millimeter tip to tip. You're looking at a 20 millimeter band lug width with drilled lugs. This has actual sapphire crystal, okay? The movement in it is a Seiko 24 Joule automatic 4R36. It has a date complication with it and it's self-winding. It's also hand winding and it hacks. Screw down crown, 200 meters of water resistance. It's on this leather strap and on the leather strap, it's coming in weighing at 88 grams. So let's make sure, oh, drilled lugs. Did I forget anything? Okay, let's get into sort of like some of the stuff that I think about this uh, land horse. First thing, it's got a beautiful 
compass marked bezel, okay? So instead of like your countdown or your minutes, it's actually north, south, east, and west. And it's not the clicky. This is like a friction bi-directional compass bezel. It's coin edged. So it doesn't click, but it's just a really good solid friction fit. And you can turn it to keep direction of however you need to. So you can sort of use it as far as like navigation, point it towards the north, and so you know which way's north, uh, etc. You know, I just think it's very unique and it's very uh, awesome as far as the aesthetics go. Uh, I really don't have much use of a compass and everything like that, but. It's nice to see something different, and it's a very awesome change as far as going with that land tortoise theme. The case back is screwed down, and it has actual, like, different um, land and code markings that's engraved in it. And, of course, the Seiko with the Prospects logo. So, you can tell that this is actually part of the Prospects line. This cushion case, this might be 42 millimeters. But, because the cushion wear, uh, rounds in, it wears a lot smaller. Especially with this compact 45 millimeter lug to lug it wears like a much smaller watch than it actually is. So I cannot fault it on that. Matter of fact, let's put it on wrist and I'll show you how it looks. Now I have a six and basically two thirds inch wrist. Okay. So for me, it wears outstanding. No hangover. It's really comfortable. Uh, it's not too wide. I think it just fits and wears beautifully. And only being 88 grams on this leather strap, you know, it is not much on your wrist at all. But it has a nice, really elegant presence to it with that coffee chocolate brown dial with the gilt indices, uh, well, the rose gold gilt all over, and matching buckle, contrasting stitching on the leather uh, band, which the leather strap is very high quality leather. This is a very nice leather strap. If there's only one negative I can say about this watch, and it's going to be a lot of personal preference with this negative. I, it wears great on this leather, but I am more of a bracelet person. So, I would love to see, like, a bracelet option. Maybe something like a two-tone. Take this chocolate coffee brown that's on the bezel and the rose gold and give me a two-tone rose gold and... That coffee chocolate brown bezel, like maybe brown in the center with the rose gold going on the sides. Now, that bracelet would be outstanding with this watch. Uh, if they did an option like that, I think it would look phenomenal. But it's excellent on the leather strap. I just would love that bracelet option, especially if they did something in a rose gold with that chocolate uh, color that's on the bezel. They could really put a real elegance to this watch that you would not find on many other watches. Okay, so Seiko sometimes is known for being not the highest alignment but on this one if you look let me polish that sapphire up real quick okay if you look that 12 indice 
lines up just about perfect with that chapter ring. Let's get a little glare off of that. See if you can see it a little bit better. There is not much deviation. I think this lines up great as far as between the actual indice and the chapter ring. So I can't knock it on misalignment. And one thing that I think they did nail right on this is they put the date in between the four and the five. So it blends in, but it's there when you want it. And you're not taking up an indice. So where like at the three or at the six, you would have the date instead of the indice. You have all your indices right here, okay? And you still got your date tucked right in. That is outstanding. I love that. That is my personal preference because my one OCD for everything to be symmetrical when they throw the date at the three, it's just not my favorite thing. I would prefer it at the six, but even better than having it take up the six is uh, color matching it and sticking it right in between that four and five. Awesome. And with the four o'clock crown, so this uh, crown sort of stays with the curvature of the watch. You don't have a big old crown just sticking out right here on the side. It goes more with the flow being here at the uh, four o'clock, but it's still accessible. And of course it's screwed down. So you can do all your adjustment of the date, hacking, hand winding, everything that you need. That screw down crown, but it flows just much better with them putting it there. And then that date in between the four and the five, it just looks really nice to me. Okay. I love that way that they did that together. This is got Seiko's Lumi Bright. I'll do a loom in just a moment. Okay. But I did want to do a quick, just side by side. This is the Seiko that I own. This is the Seiko Samurai, the Ocean Wave Dive Samurai. So you can see the Land Tortoise with its cushion style case compared to the angular case of the Samurai. So really, it just depends on what you actually like. Do you like something more round and flowy as like the Land Tortoise, that cushion style? Or do you want the more stronger, uh, you know, angular piece that looks, you know, it's got a lot more, you know, dimension. It sort of stands out. This, this flows. This is more just aggressive, okay? Very flowy, very aggressive. So it really depends on your personal preference. These are both outstanding, whether you go with like a samurai style case or a turtle style case. Let's take a look at this loom real quick. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to move this sort of like off the screen just a tad and hit it with an UV flashlight so you can take a look at the loom on Seiko's Lumi Bright. I'm going to bring it over here, hit it with a little UV light, Get this thing good and charged. Don't want, you know, anybody to be over, their, their eyes be sort of uh, shot with this UV light. So, check out that Seiko Lumi Bright. It's very nice, okay? So, the Lumi Bright... Is works really well on this land tortoise. No complaints whatsoever. Great color. Very legible. So you can actually, when low light conditions, nighttime, 
you're going to be able to see this, and it's got good staying power. Seiko's always done their Lumi Bright very good. All right, so let's flip this camera around, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this rose gold land tortoise. Okay, guys, what did you think about the Seiko Prospects rose gold land tortoise i think it's an awesome beautiful watch no complaints whatsoever the only thing that i wish is they did do some sort of bracelet option i think that would appeal to me a little bit better but even on this leather strap it just wears outstanding so absolutely loving this seiko land turtle I love the cushion style cases. They really appeal to me and everything, and they wear so well, especially on my wrists. I would love to know what you think. Do you like the cushion style cases? Are you more of like the stronger angled cases of like the Samurai? Would you like to see more of like brands like Seiko and stuff? I know I mostly live in the micro brand area, but occasionally I can get some bigger name brands like Seiko, uh, Orient, Citizen, stuff like that. I'd love to know your thoughts. I'm going to put that video of the combinations that I was talking about earlier uh, in the intro. And I'm also going to link my watches playlist. So check out that video and check out the playlist. I think you'll like both of them. There'll be a little Shield Arms watermark. Just click that Shield Arms watermark and it'll automatically subscribe you. Don't forget to click the little bell so you know when I upload videos. I usually upload just about every day. Follow me on Instagram at Shield Arms. Y'all be safe out there. I'm King Raven and I'll catch you in the next video.